Hey everybody, welcome back to www.itvideocoach.com. Bill Grismore here, nice to have you guys aboard. This is a video presentation on Windows Server 2003 Certificate Services. Now in this video, we're going to focus on how to deploy a trusted root certificate to all the computers in your Active Directory domain so they'll trust your root CA. It's a really nice, good look at how to set that up. Be sure to check out all my videos up on YouTube under the tag Grizzamore, G-R-I-Z-Z-A-M-O-R-E. And for higher quality downloads, be sure to go to www.itvideocoach.com. Be sure to check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to www.itvideocoach.com. In this video presentation, we're going to be taking a look at how to deploy a root certificate from an internal Microsoft PKI to all the machines in your environment. This is a very, very important step if you're going to have your own internal Microsoft PKI for issuing certificates for things like websites or for EFS encryption or user-based authentication to websites or certificates for uh, email encryption, exchange user certificates. Uh, so just briefly, uh, you might want to go out and take a look at part one and part two of how to set up a Microsoft PKI infrastructure. I've created those videos earlier. They walk you through step by step how to build an internal Microsoft PKI. So you kind of have more of an idea of what you're working with. But if you've already got that installed and you're already familiar with that concept, you can go ahead and dive into this video. All right. So just real briefly here, we can see that on DC1 right here uh, that we have a Microsoft Certificate Authority. This is a standalone root and he has issued a certificate to the subordinate CA which is over here on server 1 and he is an up and running issuing uh, enterprise subordinate CA so we have a hierarchy in place we have a structure that we can use to issue all these different certificates and we have this huge list of certificates we can issue and what I've recently done is I've issued a certificate to my website to make it a valid uh, web server with a secure SSL connection now this is all being done internally, okay? An internal website with an internal PKI. Now when I go to my workstation to go to connect to this website, there's a one tiny little issue with this, and that is is that my workstation doesn't know who the root is. So if I go to connect to this website uh, using HTTPS, I'm going to get a security alert because my local certificate store that knows about all the root CAs on the internet. Uh, knows just that. It knows about all the root CAs on the internet, but it doesn't know about my own internal root CA. So what I need to do is get my, my workstation, my servers, my domain controllers, all the machines in my environment, they need to know who that root CA is, which they don't right now. Now, when this message comes up, it tells me, if I read it very carefully, it says the security certificate was issued by a computer you have not chosen to trust. So I have a website installed, and on this website, I have a certificate installed on the website. Again, the certificate came from my CA. And I can see that I have a certificate, and it was installed by the enterprise CA. And the root of that enterprise CA is a standalone root. So there is a chain that goes on here. There's the certificate on the website. There's the server that actually issued the certificate, the enterprise sub. And then there's the root of the enterprise sub. In order for me to trust the certificate that's on this website, I need to know who that standalone root is. And the workstation currently doesn't know who the root is that issued this certificate to this website called Cool Web. So when I go back to the workstation, that's why I get that message. You know, an analogy might be something like, um, you know, I look at somebody's driver's license and it's from the state of Florida. It's got all the official seals and stamps and signatures and everything on it. But I like don't know who the state of Florida is. So it might look like a good certificate, it might look like a good driver's license, and the route might be fine, just like the state of Florida might be just fine, but I haven't been told that yet. So I don't know that the state of Florida exists, so I don't know that the driver's license is any good. I don't know that this route CA is any good, that it even exists, so how can I trust the certificate that he installed? Just like how can I trust this person's driver's license that he obtained from the state of Florida? You know, some kind of an analogy like that. Now I do have the option to view the certificate here and I can actually install it if I want to. I have noticed though that that install option is a little glitchy. It doesn't always work real well. You're better off to use a group policy to do it. And we're going to look at that in just a minute. But if I check my certificate path, we can see that I don't trust the root issuer, right? The actual issuer is the enterprise. 
He's the one that actually issued the certificate to the website, but we don't even trust the root. If I don't trust the root, how can I trust the, the subordinate to the root? Okay, And I can actually view each certificate all the way to the top and look at the details of that certificate. I can look at the public key. There's the actual public key in the certificate. I can see the certificate replication list and so on. All right. So I'm just going to say no. I don't want to connect to the website because I don't trust them. Okay. So I don't end up connecting to the site. Uh, another thing I can do is I can view the local certificate store here on my workstation. I just type in MMC and what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to pull up the local certificate store on the workstation and take a look at it. You can also view the same thing in your browser as well. And if I open up my local trusted root certificate authority store and look at all the certificates, if I go down the list, what I'm looking for is this standalone root certificate. Okay? So I just look under S because it uses the name of the CA. And I look under the S's, ST standalone root, it's not there. Okay, so I don't know who that root CA is. Now, when I install this standalone root, the standalone root generates a self signed certificate with his public key in it signed by his private key. It's a self signed certificate and it lives right here on the root of the C drive of the CA. Okay, so that's where that certificate lives. So, what we need to do is figure out a way to get that certificate out to the workstation. And it's actually very easy. I'm just going to save this to the desktop real quick. And we'll save it to the desktop as certs. I'm going to close that snap in. So I have that there. And if I were open to open my browser and go to Tools, Internet Options, and look at Content, Certificates, Trusted Root Certificate Authorities, again, if I go down to the S's, I'm not going to find the standalone root certificate there anywhere. Okay, So I can look at it uh, both ways, either through the browser or through the snap-in. So the question is, how do I get that root certificate out to all my machines in my environment? I've set up my own PKI infrastructure. I need to let everybody know who the root is. It's very simple. All we have to do is go into our uh, Active Directory Users and Computers. And I want to make sure everybody in the domain finds out about this uh, CA, the root CA. So I need to make sure that I edit the default domain policy at the very top of my own domain hierarchy. So I go to the properties of the domain, itvideocoach.local. I go to group policy. I'm going to edit the default domain policy. And in order to let all the computers know about who the root is, I have to make sure I edit the computer configuration container. I go to window settings. Security Settings, Public Key Policies, Trusted Root Certificate Authorities. right? And that should look familiar because that's the same thing we see inside the Workstation tool. It's the same thing we see inside the uh, web browser. It's the portion of the certificate store that holds the information about who the root server is. So we need to get that Trusted Root Certificate Authority store populated. right? using a group policy. okay? So you can see how those match up. All we got to do, it's so simple, it's almost scary. All I have to do is right click, import, or go to all tasks, import, same thing. I don't know why they have it twice there. And we're going to go through this wizard to import this certificate. And we know that the certificate lives on the root of the C drive of the issuing root CA. So we just simply pop that CRT file. This is the actual certificate that contains the public key of the root that's been signed by the private key. That's it right there. Okay, Bam, there it is. And we're going to place this in the store called Trusted Root Certificate Authorities, which we see here on the workstation, using this group policy. And we can just confirm that, check our settings, and click Finish. And the import was successful. I close this. I click OK to save it. And I simply go to the workstation. And I'm going to refresh that policy that lives in the domain here on the workstation. So I run gp update slash force to refresh that policy. And then all I got to do is just real quick spot check my store and look to see if that standalone root certificate is in that store. And boom, there it is, just like that. If I open up my browser, I'll see the same thing. The group policy just took that certificate and stuck it right in the store where I need it. Tools, Internet Options, 
content, certificates, trusted root certificate authorities, and I go right down here to the S's for standalone root, and there it is. So that means if I open up my browser and now go to the site, I don't get that security warning message because I trust the root now. It's in my store, and I look at the certification path, and there it is. It's the standalone root without any errors. That's how you deploy the root certificate to all the computers in your domain. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot and have a great day.